All right, here's a little video of the boat, Steven. So I'll start from the top or from the tip. Uh, new actuator, surge arrestor with the solenoid. So that's for your reverse so that your brakes don't lock up. Uh, new uh, wheel or uh, uh, I guess front trailer uh, wheel thing. I can't remember what that name is off the top of my head right now. The uh, strap for the front of the boat. So it's a uh, strap like that with the uh, safety chain. Here's the front of the, the boat in terms of like the, sh the hull. You can see here it's in pretty good condition. Here's the first, uh, the port wheel trailer. And then the surge brake, or the uh, disc brakes. Those were added uh, January 2021. All right, so go down towards the transom. So this is the uh, step ladder. There's a little bit of rusting here. Um, that looks like it's from maybe the manufacturer not using stainless bolts. 150 Optimax. Uh, Bennett trim tabs. These are uh, hydraulic and uh, comes with a tab indicator. See here. So it's a 17 pitch uh, Mirage, I think, motor uh, prop. Yep. There's the drain hole transducer. Here's the uh, C-Star steering that was added uh, about just after I got the boat. It, it normally had, it actually had cable steering before, so you would constantly have to hold the, the uh, wheel in order to keep it straight or make adjustments to this guy, I believe. Now that there's hydraulic, that's not really a need anymore. Okay, going to the starboard side. Here's the other wheel. Other disc brake. The disc brake junction here. That's the, uh, that's for the uh, f uh, brake fluid. So bearing buddies on all of the wheels. So you mentioned the uh, width of the trailer. I tried as best I could to get it level in line and it seems to be about 105, 106 inches from wheel to wheel. That's the widest part of the boat. So here's more video of the hull. That's just uh, some oil smudging there. You see the So everything's in, the hull's in excellent condition. So let me see if I can jump on the boat here. I got my, um, my um, crab pots because that's what I was kind of doing before. There's the, uh, the chair. There's the live well. That's the uh, bulkhead for the uh, fuel sender. Here's the cockpit. As you can see here, um, it's in. I cleaned it up pretty good after the last uh, trip, so it's in real nice. You know, as far as uh, the gel coat and stuff here, there's a few cracking uh, in various spots, like one here. Where the gas is a little bit of spider cracking maybe there i'll show you the those ports a little bit later okay so you lift this guy up 
and that shows you the live well. <coughs> This is just the cover here. I need to put this back on. There you go. So, just to give you an idea here, uh, this gauge works. That's the voltage fuel work, uh, fuel indicator works. The uh, four cluster um, warning indicator works. Uh, the digital gauge works. This shows the hours. It does not the gallon section <coughs> is wrong, so that that's uh, that doesn't really work a whole a whole lot. The RPMs works well, um, and the gallons per hour doesn't work. So just hours and RPM. This one seems to work once in a while. The RPM, the the analog, uh, but I usually just rely on this guy digital compass this is where the radar would go and that's the connect these are the connectors for the radar here's the Garmin uh, transducer chart plotter so a little compartment in here for just stuff uh, new standard horizon radio I added for uh, last one started to crap out so that one's new. I think I replaced it maybe August of last year. There's your Bennett trim tab. Here's your cluster here. So this does nothing. Wash down pump, live well. Horn, uh, nav lights. So this one only does the uh, bow green and red uh, navigation lights. The top is on a different switch. And then here's the manual bilge. So that switch is the switch for the, uh, the, the shutoff for that, the T-top light there, T-top light there, and for that guy. That's the uh, the top navigation light. So a little more, you know, spider cracking here. That seems to be new. So that's the forward hatch there. This one here is the anchor. So anchor, chain and rope. There. There's the T-top. Uh, one here, uh, rod holder. Another rod holder there. So kill switch ignition steering wheel so that's the C star going in here so there's your fire extinguisher and I got a bunch of uh, uh, the throw uh, life <coughs> life jackets the uh, safety kit, uh, first aid kit, and then this is how it kind of came, you know, a little bit of a 
a little bit of work as far as cleanup, but um, everything pretty much works in here. Then, let's see if I can get up here. So there's your Cytex ra uh, radar. There's some uh, uh, cuts in the uh, canvas. So I added some uh, tape there. There's your navigation thing. There's your eight foot uh, antenna, four rod holders on the T-top. And the cable for the radar runs down the T-top and then through that opening there into the um, into the center console. So that's what it looks like. Uh, can't show you the back really because these pot, uh, crab pots. And then two rod holders in the back, two bulkheads to access the bilge. This is for the two-stroke engine oil. There's the hydraulic trim tab um, uh, unit there. <clears throat> right underneath here, right there, that's the wash down pump. And wash down is that blue one there. And then finally, this guy here is the two batteries. The shutoff, you could do uh, one battery, so you have off one battery, both batteries, or, or number two only, and all. So that's what that looks like. And the inside here. And that's a pretty much the the walk around tour. Um, if you have any other questions or you want another video, um, I could do one of the engine starting if you really, really want to know. But um, I'll be honest with you, on the two-stroke engine, um, when you haven't run it for a while, the first time you, you start it, it normally doesn't kick over but it it I would say 95 to 100 percent of the time goes on the second one so um, there's that uh, I believe this rear brake light not not the brake light itself when you hit the brake but the running light portion of it doesn't work so but I do. I did buy the uh, LED brake kit. So um, if you really want me to install it, I could do it. Or you, if you're savvy enough yourself, you can um, just cut the wires, put the new one in. It drops right in. So that's it. Um, let me go to the front here. Okay, spare tire. Uh, like I said, I have owned this boat since 2018. Second owner was uh, who bought it from a guy down south. Uh, he owned it for literally like a week. Um, I suspect maybe the wife didn't approve the purchase. So I swooped up on it. Uh, got it for a really good deal. The first owner put about 450, 475 hours. It's got like 826, 827 right around there uh, now. And this was used a lot at Lake Mead or uh, uh, freshwater. I don't think this thing saw uh, salt water at all down there. Um, that's what the uh, second owner told me, the guy I bought it from. So, all right, man.